<laughs> What's up, guys? We're here at Gear Fest 2023, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Sweetwater. Fort Wayne. We got Josh. We got Jason. We got Lewis. We got me, Daniel. This guy. And uh, it is late at night. It's 941. Everybody, literally everybody else is gone, and we decided to take over the podcast room. So uh, we've been playing a lot of music, and uh, why don't we go in the room and introduce ourselves, our instruments, and how we ended up here at Sweetwater. Why don't we do that? Yeah, so I'll go cool. first. So my name is Daniel, <laughs> and for the purposes of uh, you know this video and what we're doing here, I have a YouTube channel. Um, if you don't uh, follow me or anything, and I play drums, and I'm kind of this convergence of worship, church, drums, and then also like some vlogging and some tech stuff as well. So kind of built a YouTube channel, Instagram, and then got connected with Sweetwater uh, and did like the affiliate program and now working with them a lot. So this is my first time here. Never been here before, but I'm really excited about that. So we've been playing lots of drums, meeting lots of really cool people. And it's been it's been awesome because I've been connected with Josh for a while online, uh, but we just got connected uh, in person here for the first time. So um, we got some funny stories, not, not necessarily funny, but like funny of like our interactions. And I got a story to tell later. But then oh. I got my friend Lewis here. And uh, if you can see his badge from here, it says VIP. Hey. And we serve the God of the upgrade because on, Lewis somebody. came as a guest, Come but on, he is son. now family. Yes, sir. Okay. Because when you are in the body, you become a son. You are no Ooh. longer a servant, yes. but you are a son Ooh. of God. Yes, Reaching, bro. So Lewis is the <laughs> VIP now. But no, I'm really excited because Lewis is here. Uh, so Sweetwater allowed us to bring a like videographer. So I was like, man, if I bring a real like just videographer, they're probably gonna be bored out of their mind just sitting around. So I was like, let me bring somebody that knows video, but also uh, needs to be in this space. So I brought Lewis, and he's already uh, been killing it. I just needed to get him in the room, and he's done the rest of the work. So he's connected with Sweetwater and killing it. So, anyways, that's me. So Lewis, I know I kind of just introduced like <laughs> our context of why you're here, but I appreciate it. but talk about your YouTube because this thing, Lewis is like an accidental YouTuber. Like Lewis doesn't like to YouTube, but he's so good at it. Like I'm like Lewis, did you post? He's like, no. <laughs> You know, I'm not very good at like I don't like it. You know, I don't know. It's not good. I'm like, bro, everything you post is fire, as you would say. Well, I appreciate that. As yeah. the young would say. As the young ones would yeah, say. Yeah, young. So tell us, brother. <laughs> well, like Daniel said, um, oh, sorry, I'm here. Lu Luis Pacheco. My yeah, bad. exactly. My bad. I'm here because of him, and so I'm grateful for Daniel for you know bringing me on to be here at Sweetwater Gear Fest this year. Um, and like he said, yeah, I, I came in as a guest, his guest, and. Uh, you know, I was able to connect with some of the Sweetwater affiliate people, all that stuff. And th um, so we're working something out to be a part of the family. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, I'm a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a YouTube, YouTube channel. I am a YouTube channel. I like that. I am a walking YouTube <laughs> channel. I like that. I, like that. You I have a YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, I have that as well because of this guy. This guy has pushed me um, to push content and to... Just do what I do, and um, I'll never forget one of the first few videos I was posting consistently. He told me, be consistent, and I wasn't seeing any results, and so I was getting discouraged. He said, just keep doing it. In due season, it'll it'll pay off, all that stuff. In um, due season. Yeah, in due season, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. did. I'm not going to lie. Bro, we're so churchy. <laughs> <laughs> we're so churchy. <laughs> we church kids, bro. It's fine. <laughs> At the appointed time. Come on, come on with that. <laughs> it may not come when you want it. Yes, sir. But it'll be right on time. Right on time. Oh. <laughs> like David. I'm sorry. Oh, the God who stepped out of time, made time, was on time when we thought he wasn't in time. Oh. Oh. But we're living in the end, end times. Time. Come on, sir. <laughs> e la la. Yeah. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. I really felt that thing. <laughs> I really felt that thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anyways, so talk to us. Um, I started pushing content. I was able to hit, you know, quite a few views on on some of my first few few videos, and it's just kind of taken off from there. So, just grateful to be in the room. Grateful to be here this week. It's been an incredible time getting to connect with a lot of content creators and Sweetwater reps and all that stuff. So I'm just having a blast getting to connect with these guys. Also, crazy story with Josh. Um, we've been connected on social media for a while, but. Um, I lost my YouTube channel. I got hacked a few months ago, and if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have my channel. So I'm super grateful for him. He reached out to YouTube, was able to connect us, and yeah, so super grateful for Josh. You want me? Oh, I am. Uh, you Jake. know what a circle is? It's all good. <laughs> you know he spoke about you last, so it was. But it's all good. It's all good. Uh, mm. all right, I'm brother. dying over here. Are you with us? <laughs> Listen, you, he that loses soul will gain it. Ooh. No, he that first gain. 
You add to the word. Never, I was. Bring your word. <laughs> I was going to add to the word. That's, you're not supposed to do that. Uh, I am Jason Crawford. I am a uh, keyboardist, piano player, MD. Uh, I only play keyboard and organ. I am trash on drums. Uh, I do preach. Keep the faith. You have to. Without faith. It is impossible. To please God. You know it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the comments. <laughs> please, please help me. help him get the glory. Please. I'm encouraging you. You, need you, in, you just flipped I'm it sorry, on I'm me. sorry. I never met somebody need intercessors for scripture. Bless God. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's been exciting to get to know these guys and meet these guys. These, as a, a good musicians, is an understatement. Um, so far, we've had a blast. And uh, you know what? Um, we're going to get into it a little later, and it's not going to be a long thing, but we're going to get into it a little later about uh, continuing to be who you are in the midst of people that change daily. Amen. Uh, but, yeah, I'm Jay. Joshua Crawford, uh, YouTuber, drummer. Um, my mic sounds good. Yeah, dude. Wow. Mine sounds not good. Somebody yeah, help me. Yeah, some, Send yeah, me my help. Hook them up with some, some E's and some Q's. That's good. I there was a laughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, that's good. I give you that too. That was too much. It was all right. Um. So yeah, uh, I got in touch with Sweetwater. Th- <laughs> <laughs> I got in touch with Sweetwater through uh, Natalie, who's no longer with us. Prayers up. She didn't die. She just <laughs> left. <laughs> she just left. Like she died. <laughs> <laughs> she no longer with us. Prayers up. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> she just, she just, if you're watching this, Natalie, we're sorry for this guy. <laughs> she just moved on, didn't die. She just moved <laughs> on to a better place. Didn't move. <laughs> I got, <laughs> you're digging a hole. Just, yeah. just move on. Moved on to glory. You know what's crazy? You, uh, yeah, just, yeah. You're digging a hole. That was a blooper. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So right, um, try again. You got connected to Sweetwater. Yeah, I got connected <laughs> from so someone who works somewhere else now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got connected to Sweetwater Very through good. that. Was able to make some sales on affiliate, and then they invited me out to Gear Fest. Was able to bring him along. Thank you, you know, he also started off as a guest. He actually was a door opener. And but then, God, <laughs> <laughs> but God, come on, God. give him yep, glory. Yep. Come yeah. on, I, he, hallelujah. He got elevated. He, he said, "Give him glory." <laughs> you didn't give him glory. <laughs> I submitted I, glory I, I, to God. And if you, you don't, the yet, rocks will. He has, hey, so you better give him he glory. Has yet yet to give, he has yet to give him glory. <laughs> <laughs> He's give him glory. I just noticed. Uh, Your voice he, know how to give him he glory. has yet to give him glory. <laughs> Why are you two to give God glory right now? What is you waiting on? Hey man, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> where was I at? Uh, this. Give him the glory, because if you hear that, you ain't getting caught up. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So yeah, I was able to get him involved, and he he was able to get a lot of uh, different you. brand deals and stuff like that. And then <laughs> yeah, it, it was able to just bring me back. Sorry guys. Yeah, you just, just coughing, bro. My he, fault. He's been coughing three days straight. He's okay, but it's he it just it, apparently you, you cough. I cough. Yeah, I'm just human. A, just a part of who he is. Man, no judgment. So yeah, that's how I got hooked up with Sweetwater. Um, if you guys are not familiar with my channel, I feature different musicians from around the world and uh, show them to different people that may not have seen them before, and also do drum covers and I do different musical things in ways that you might like find different. And uh yeah. I got a question for the off. for the collective. So people watching this, right, um that you know don't have this opportunity to come here, right? A, a big question I get all the time on my channel is, you know, the idea of how to get noticed, not even by brands, but just how to get noticed, you know, and how to get connected. And so I want to I would love to hear y'all's thoughts about this idea of um, you know, like trying to get a break versus kind of to me, like with my channel, for instance, it was more, I created my own platform and voice with YouTube. So kind of this idea of like waiting for someone to give you a break, like I deserve it or like I'm good enough to get it versus the idea that the tools are out there like YouTube, Instagram, like the tools are there for you to create your own 
voice or platform basically to people that are not here at, at gear fest, right. Yeah. That maybe they're like, well, I'm better than Daniel on drums, So I should be there. Right. This idea of like talent alone versus the other aspects of what it takes to like be in this room. If that makes sense, not that we're better than anybody, but just the fact right. is like, this is an amazing opportunity that I, that we're here. Right. So I'd love to hear y'all's perspective on, cause I think it's an age old thing, especially with young musicians about how do I get put on? How do I get noticed? How do I, yeah. you know, get, a brand duel or or whatever like that. So, well, can, can I ask, was any of y'all's um, intentions to get noticed with the things y'all did? Y'all yeah, do? Mine was. Yours was okay. Uh, yeah, we'll he, get to he, you later. He's, he's what been, about you? He's been insane for a while. <laughs> no, 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 he's, no. He's just converted. No, what? no, no. I think this is great. Don't diminish what I'm about to take. Like, <laughs> I, think, I think this is great. And you got that too. You you actually did it today, and I did it last year. Um, but I mean, we were guests. Come no, here. I don't mean it in that sense. I mean uh, like when we posted stuff from the beginning. From the beginning, mm -hmm. was, was it passion your, or what, an objective? Right. Was your to get intention? Famous? Was your intention <laughs> to get famous, or was it like I love what I do and I just want to, you know, share it? Uh, it? It was never famous. Exactly. It was to get noticed. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, to, I think I say, uh, think there's a component. There's always a component yeah, to that, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, um, first of all. This is this is this is good right here. I got good one liners. Uh if this is you and we're talking to you, you have to have a strong resolve that you have something the world needs to see. Yeah. Mm. You just have to have that I was put on here to do something and I know I don't care if it's one person, somebody needs to see or experience what God gave me the gift or the uh talent to do. Sure. Right. And when you really have that resolve then you have to have the second resolve is to have to be a good steward over what God called you to do. Yeah. And turn your talent into a skill. Yeah. This is the only way I was able to get the VIP from guests. Uh, I didn't have to come and work up my ability to play piano out here. Like as soon as there was a piano, I sat down and played. Oh, can you play this song? No, but I can I can make it sound like this song. Like I I, I just developed that in my own quiet time practicing right. over and over again until it's you know you don't have to work it up. Like if a doctor if you went to a doctor's office and it was like, well, can you do you know what's wrong? Well, nah, let me let me let me go pray first before I I look at you, see you sweating, and obviously know you sick. Like this cough you got, I know it's you, yeah, but it ain't you. Okay. Something wrong. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You are using that <laughs> wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's just, you yeah. got to, you got to. I see what you're saying. Somebody here at Sweetwater said, it was actually at, at Universal Audio. I was like, how'd you get hooked up with them? He's like, first of all, you just got to be good. Yeah. I mean, you you got to be good at what you do. And I think <coughs> a lot of people don't want to hear that. Like, just be good at what you do. Yeah. First. Well, no, I was just going to say, um, in my my experience, the end goal wasn't to be noticed or be famous, which for some people it's like, well, why do you post? Just like you said, I feel like God's given me a gift, um, and I want to share it. I want to share what I do. Um, and also, I get people asking, like, I want to see behind the scenes. People... The the lifestyle that we get that we get or like the, the, the venues we get to play in or the conferences or the events that we do, not many people get to see the back end of it. They just see when they get there, they see the stage, they see what you're doing, that's all they see. They don't see all the pre work that goes before um, you know, you actually hit the stage. And so a lot of people really enjoy to see that kind of stuff. So um I just what happened? No, no, no. So what are you saying? Me. I was trying to get you. I need my phone stand. It, it's in that bag. That's all. We're recording right here. I don't know if you knew that in this camera. <laughs> if you look straight, we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're right. But when you said see the backs behind the scenes, it hit me. I should be live right now, like right here. Okay. But go ahead. Okay, yeah. Out of order. You, it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was. I oh, thought we was twins and triplets. You, shut up. <laughs> you tried. They, he, that needed a, he needed a cough day. break anyway, so oh, yeah. <laughs> he's good. Bro, cough, Anyways. cough off the mic. Because you off been coughing. the mic. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. And move there your mic back because we hear you breathing. Huh? You're like. <laughs> huh? Go ahead. You was talking. No, I was just I saying was, was the, the, the end goal wasn't ever to 
get famous or be known. Or, that's not the end goal. The goal was just to kind of share what I do and, um, you know, all the work that's been that's gone, you know, forth with what I do. Just kind of, it just kind of happened. Just kind of grew a following, and um, yeah, that's my experience at least. Yeah, I mean, I would say for me, obviously, we all, everyone has a desire to for people to see your work, right, and people to affirm that and, and appreciate that. But I think for me, especially like YouTube or whatever you want to do, there's this, there's a component of delayed gratification, right? Any musician knows that it's music is an exercise in delayed gratification. So for me, like I started my channel in 2000, I think seven, six or seven. My first video was I was playing at a conference and a kid was like, hey, can you show me how to do this, Phil? And I was like, bro, I got to go. But there's this thing called YouTube. And I'm gonna make a lesson. I'll I'll upload it, and you can watch it. So my channel started, you know, as a place to, um, you know, just try to help people learn stuff. And what was kind of unique about my channel is, really, up until just like a year or two ago, I didn't really plan content. I just documented what I was already doing, right? Like whatever I was playing or doing, I just documented that. So, um, you know, for me, it was about like trying to help church musicians. And I, I, I'm gonna lead into the topic of affirmation because I think that's a huge one for musicians that we have yeah. to settle in our heart, especially. I always, obviously, I also have a Christian worldview. So if if you don't believe in in uh, God, then maybe you know that you might not align with some of these things. But I personally believe that all of us were created by God and created for a purpose, and music is such a uh, integral part of that that you can't separate that. But anyways, um, so for me, yeah, so you, um, <clears throat> you know, for me, it was like my channel. It started to grow, and I made the decision. Like, I, you know, I had some opportunities. I got to play with some Christian artists and travel and stuff, but. The truth was, like, I wanted to celebrate what a lot of people thought was mundane because there was a period of time where, like, for me, everyone, like, was dogging their, like, weekend church, and they wanted, mm -hmm. like, to go tour, go play. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to celebrate, like, the grind of weekly thing. Yes, like, yeah. I wasn't paid to be a musician. Right. For me, I was on staff of the church doing other things, so I volunteered as a musician, volunteered Tuesday night rehearsal, Sunday. So wow. I was like, you know what, bro? I'm just going to I'm just gonna show people, like, that this is enjoyable. And so the way I see it is... If I'm gonna uh, do anything else, I have to love and serve like where God has has positioned me. So like for me, service at my local church has always been the the foundation. I feel like God was gonna build off that. But you know, for me, it was like after my channel began to grow, I realized you know that I don't necessarily need someone to give me an opportunity or open the door for me necessarily. But I can create this own platform. I personally believe that YouTube, Instagram. These things are tools that anybody can create a voice. But what you have to do is you have to put in the work, the unseen work of actually, you have to be good, right? Yep. The other thing is like everyone here at GearFest, everybody's good. Yeah. So talent will get you in the door, but, you know, get you in the room. But it's character, I think, character, work ethic that will keep you in the keep room. In the so room, talent yeah. alone, yeah. talent maybe, again, this is the entry point. Um, but for me, that was just like the way I view it anyways is if you're out there and you're like, you know, someone needs to give me an opportunity. Someone needs to put me onto something. I would challenge that and say, like, you have the tools. Are you, like, doing what you can do now? Because you will find people on that journey, right? So, like, Josh and I connected, like, really earlier in both of our journeys, right? Mm -hmm. And, yep. you, you know, Josh year? reacted. What's that? Do you remember the year? Oh, man. Um, I, it had to be, like, either 2018 or 19. Yeah, so I man. started getting really serious about my channel <clears throat> in, like, 2017 and, like, executing a consistent plan. And then Josh and I connected, and like uh, there was a reaction video that, that he did of one of my videos, and so like I reposted a lot of things. And then so even just I think you find people on your journey, like peers that are doing the same thing you're doing. Yeah. But um, anyways, that's that's the, the way I think about it is you can't be looking for people to put you on or give you an opportunity when you like when you're at the place they will come to you. And that's I mean right. we can jump into endorsements and stuff about because I have like strong opinions about that. But anyways, I, I would. The other thing I really would like to maybe mention is affirmation, like, because if you want to be on YouTube, and um, and I'll stop hogging the mic, but <laughs> no, if you want to be on YouTube, you about to preach right you're here. Talking. Well, I just think, like, for me, I tell people, like, if you want to be on YouTube, you have to love, first of all, you got to love the whole process. Right. If you don't enjoy creating content, playing, say if you're a drummer, if you don't enjoy filming the drums, playing the drums, and then editing and posting, if you cannot fall in love with that grind, then you're not you're not gonna enjoy YouTube, and you're not gonna make it. So for me, my grind was every Sunday I would record a vlog. I'd get to the church at six a.m. Mm -hmm. I'd want to be there before an hour before everybody else to record my content. That way, when it was time for church, I wasn't focused on my content. I could focus on worship because right. that was a commitment I made. Was yeah. if I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna be in rehearsal jacking with my cameras. I'm supposed to be focused on the actual experience. So that was a commitment for me. Was I'm gonna do my stuff before 
and give people the time that I'm supposed to be giving them. Like, I'm not going to be in rehearsal messing with my camera. So I came at 6, you know, set up and practice from 6 to 7. So I'm ready to go. When, when the band comes in at 7, I'm, I'm ready for the downbeat at 7 o'clock. Yep. And then the other thing was I basically edited from 5 p.m. to like 2 a.m. every Sunday, you know, five cover videos, a vlog, and maybe a gear review and a couple stories. I did that for probably three years, three or four years straight every Sunday that I would play, and I would crank out five videos a week, right? Or or I would have them loaded. So I think that's the first thing is, like, you got to fall in love with it. And then I think you have to be intentional about affirmation. What I mean by that is, naturally, we want to look to the object of our work for the affirmation. So, for instance, on YouTube, I want to naturally be affirmed by my viewers and comments. But you guys know the comment section <laughs> is, is brutal, a jungle, yeah. right? Yeah. So yes, for me... Yeah. What I had to do is I had to fall in love with the affirmation of like going to a church and like a mom being like, hey, my kid watches all your videos. And to you, to him, you're a superhero. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah. In a world full of yeah. celebrities, athletes, Hollywood, like this parent is putting me in a position of influence in her child's life. Yeah. Like that affirms me. Yeah. And when, if like if I can keep my mind focused on that, then YouTube comments, views, that doesn't really fuel me. Because if it fuels me, it's a fickle it's a fickle thing. So I think affirmation is another big thing. If you want to survive on YouTube or if you want to expose your art to the world, you got to be real intentional about where you get affirmation from because it'll burn you, I think. So anyways, that's just two things like for me is build, you got to build your own voice and you got to guard like your affirmation. Otherwise, you're going to burn out if yeah. you don't love the grind. I made a face earlier when you said something. And I, uh, this is how you know that Dan is a preacher. Because they be saying stuff so fire, and they don't <coughs> like to pause in between and let brothers react. <laughs> like first of all, he's dropped a lot, a lot of. Gems. Well, maybe it's not a reaction, so that you can give God some glory. Give him. Did you give him glory? glory. Come on, bro. Lord, I thank you. <laughs> That's giving him glory, not a man. <laughs> Bless God. Lesson no. learned. Yeah, yeah. But he said, and this is. That this is a t-shirt, by the way. I'm ready for the downbeat at seven o'clock. Yep. Yeah. Mm. That's fire. Yep. That's his. I'm just I'm giving all mm -hmm. the that. That's in the Bible too. Bless God. No, but um, no, you right. You right. And the comment section is fickle. Um Bro, it's brutal, man. It's brutal. Yeah, they get they're getting even more creative. Bro, the things that they put on there, it's like it's crazy, and if if that's where your affirmation, like you said, your affirmation comes from, the first comment that you it's get that's negative you. is gonna break it's you. Gonna break you. You gonna quit. Yeah. You are gonna say I never want to do this, and it's not about that. It's yeah. about like what he said. Like I have people that come up to me and say like Yeah, like, my kid watches all your stuff. There's a responsibility on me now. There's a responsibility on him to. We have influence, you know. We got to protect yep. that. Yeah. So, somebody said I was a false prophet, and I'm doomed for hell. Wow. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> On a video. <laughs> Listen, key, the internet and keyboards give small men a big voice. Wow. That's mm. true. That That's another one. Hold on. So, Let, let's react. Let, let's react. Press the button. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, nah, that's another one. But it's it's if you think about it, though, it's people... We automatically give everyone the same weight, which we would never do wow. in real life. Wow. Right. Right. I would never give just a random person weight to speak into my life. But YouTube and the, and the Internet is an equalizer mm -hmm. of people naturally. And then also online, we're, we're harsh, right? We're harsh and insensitive online. So people say say stuff online because they think it's anonymous. They can just say it and you won't see it, right? Because I've done this sometimes. I'll, I'll engage and the people backtrack because they're like, basically, when it comes down to it, they didn't really expect that you would. Yeah, engage well, it. They just yeah. want to get on there and get other yep. people to see it. You know, that's yeah, why like right. people hop on Sports Center and just say the crazy stuff in the comments because they know, yeah. you know, the the basketball star they're talking about is not going to respond. But so I don't know. I Unless just he's you, Kevin Durant. But you yeah, know what? Then he will. <laughs> and a burner account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I jump in with that? Yeah, right? please. Because we can. You haven't talked yet. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't my turn. So, <laughs> but when it comes to that and people. <laughs> Getting uh, talk to us, talk to us. Letting the comments like get to them, and I've seen this pick up tremendously because of one simple feature on TikTok, where like you can you you can comment with a video, and then they starting to do that now on YouTube, which oh, yeah. and and Instagram. Yeah, people have getting they they have gotten so sensitive to the comments where they yeah. 
they literally take out their time to just make videos or how they were extremely hurt by the comment and stuff like they gave they give it so much energy that's really unnecessary but um yeah it, it is powerful like i don't know who created like who came up with the name youtube because like to answer your question like when it comes to somebody asking how do you make it and stuff like that you're talking about like being yourself on youtube and how there's space for you ba- pretty much at the end of it if you focus more on what you love to do and your passions that's going to stand out. Your personality alone is what's going to attract more people because you're you're different. Yeah. That's the best way to succeed. If you if you're doing the similar stuff that another drummer's doing or another content creator, you're just going to look like them. Yeah. yeah. They already have their audience. That's yeah. why what they would want they do, you that? To do too. I'll never it, forget yeah. Daniel, you know, cuz when he was telling me to start posting this stuff, I, I said, "Okay, but what do I post? Like what do people want to watch? When am I supposed to Post specific content, he said, just be you. Mm-hmm. People don't care what you what you post as long as you're doing what you do, they'll watch it. Lock into that, and that's what I do. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of, of vlogs, but I, I, you know, I'll vlog where, where I'm at, what I'm doing, behind the scenes stuff, and people love it. And like for me, it's like I rather like make content of me playing, and they're like, well, we want to see the vlogs. They love that. So like, I, I this is me. I'm gonna do that. But a lot of people are looking. What do I post that's going to get views? And it's like, well, be you, man. Like, just post what what you do. I'm glad you listened to Daniel. I do, like, bro. I told you. I told you. I love you. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned to love this guy, man. <laughs> well, this I, guy is amazing. I think that's so good. Like, okay, here's an example for me. The number one video that I get requested is drum tuning videos, right? And so, but I was like, in my mind, I'm like, you know what? Why? Because there there are companies that have tune, tuning videos from like amazing, world renowned, world class drummers. Right. But the truth is, your audience wants to connect with the way you do something. So yeah. this idea of like content saturation, you know, if you're yourself, you you're gonna find your audience. Right. Yep. So even though there's a billion great tuning videos from you know Dave Weckl, you know, has got a tuning video. They're not trying to see Dave Weckl. They want to see you. People want to see what I'm doing, right? And so. Yeah. I think that's why it's important to, you know, be yourself because you'll find an audience that connects with what you do and your interests, you right. know. And so, yeah, I agree with that. I think you don't need to worry about emulating other people and what they do. Now, you can try methods, but at the end of the day, I also tell people you got to you gotta create what you enjoy. Right. Because if you don't enjoy creating it, then you're not going to do it. It's not sustainable. You have to enjoy the process, enjoy what you like making. Yep. Let me piggyback on that. That's big. And, that, and that's why I think the reaction videos I do have, like, blown up. Because, like, growing up in uh, in church and seeing different drummers my age at the time, they would, um, and this is a message to all the younger drummers out there, when you come across a drummer that's better than you, True. enjoy that. Yeah. Like, that, yes. that, that's a plus. Like, yes. And um, Most people feel the need to be intimidated yeah. in, those, in those settings, but it's like... Yep. Learn from that, you know. Learn this, from them. This man did so many crazy things; it amped me up. Like I enjoy getting chopped up. Well, like, like this keys, guy right here. I enjoy it. This man is a hundred times better than me on keys, and like that's who the people I want to be around. With. I want to surround myself with people that are better than me because I want to be better. I want to learn. I want to grow. That's yep. what you do. If I felt threatened by this guy because he's better than me, like what is, what do I gain from that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree, like, and that's what like it's like today. I I said I told Josh I wanted to get back in the drum room and do some stuff because I know that there's a lot of things I can hear that he plays that stretches me and that I can't do. And But exposing yourself th- to that is a key to that. If you are, if you find yourself in a room where you're the best musician, you got to find a new room. <laughs> yeah, Bro, yes. for yeah. sure. Because that's another shirt. It is. That's the it best is. way to grow, though, is yes. like being around musicians that push you. I mean, I remember when I moved to Houston um, and was playing with, you know, to me, Aaron Shields, and Andrew Kuntz, man, two musicians that are Crazy. incredibly Crazy. locked. Crazy and so good. every Sunday, I knew I had to be locked because Drew on bass, he knew, like, if my kick patterns were off, yeah. like, he knew and he was going to be like, bro, this is what you're supposed to do. So some people, like, shy away from that, but you got to embrace that, you know. And it stretches you. Absolutely. So I loved that. Oh, big yep. time. I, can I um, – Let's add some. Let's go. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Pause. Um, but uh, this man that's, said that's that's a preaching term. Now let's go deeper. Uh, I want to go back to not pause. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that no, 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 that, that wasn't. Right. We're cutting that out. That was, you're in the flesh. <laughs> We're you're cutting right. that out. <laughs> that was fleshly. Uh, I want to go back. You're right. I want to go back to um, uh, responding to comments. Yep. And, and uh, is, okay. I said I want to go back to responding. Okay. Uh -huh. I want to go back to responding to comments. And uh, uh, I'm sure Dan will, will get this. I know you'll get it. I don't know about Josh. He ain't been to church in a while. But um, <laughs> <laughs> all of. Oh, no, no, we, no, no, no. we have Bible study at home all the time. But um, responding. You've missed a few. Respond. You've missed a, you missed a few. Don't br don't break it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dad gonna see this. I'm he just, will. I'm just he will. warning he you will. now. He will. <laughs> no, but responding to comments. Um, this might sound like a one liner, but I ain't trying to have a one liner. When you respond to people that are less than you, you bring them on your level, yeah. and then you shrink to their level. And biblically, Eve fell from a conversation with somebody she didn't even need to respond to. So much so that God was like, who told you you was naked? Yeah. Off of a conversation. And I put it to you this way for people that don't read the Bible. If they don't have a profile picture, <laughs> they are nobody. <laughs> <laughs> if they do have a profile picture and no post, they are nobody. Y'all got another one? one well, I would say never take criticism from someone you wouldn't take advice from. Mm. Let's go. He's come on, come on. No, no, no. Bro. Come on, come on. You got one of you. Let's go. No, I don't. Uh, I, got one. I got one. Come on. No, nah, we not. Oh, you don't have one? We not like him, You got bro. another one? That was my one good one, bro. Okay. Hey, I'm going to give you one, too. All right. Uh, nice. Oh, well, we'll talk drums. All right. If somebody's hating on you with drums, uh, if you can't play in time, I'm not listening to you. No, if you can't play in time, I'm only listening to you. <laughs> You're out of time. You didn't fit. That, that, I don't, that, that lost went me. Right <laughs> over your head. I'm saying, yeah, that, that, right that lost me. Right over That lost me. I don't know if it, oh, my God. saying that's all you can pay attention to because it's so bad. That's I, all you can pay attention I, to. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. That's actually. That's actually. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's Or Josh. That's, that's for real. I'm, I'm but, I mean, it, it comes back to, it comes back to <laughs> the ability to control your ego, right? Oh, because yeah. how, how could anybody look at this piece of art or this piece of myself that I have put out for the world and criticize it yeah. right yeah. at the end of the day what we want to say is like nobody like you would say hope to say nobody could criticize this right. I don't care who you are right. and the truth is you got to know that those comments reveal a lot more about them than they do about you right I right. mean that's a that's a, a life lesson but yeah I think you know that's for me uh, on YouTube I got to remember that like I have the people in my life that I look to for affirmation. And for me, you know, it's like I'll do a video, I'll show my wife, you know, and, and she gets excited. I have some friends that I that I will yeah. message and stuff. But the other thing too is, man, once you once you actually start doing stuff, um, and this is a whole the topic we get into, but a lot of times it's your your friends that like your actual friends that don't really show support, like a random person mm -hmm. on Instagram will show support. That's true. And but oh. I think even then, like you can't you can't get too high or low on that either yeah, because the yeah. truth is it could be a couple of things. A lot of times your friends are doing the same thing you're doing. Mm -hmm. They're worried about their own stuff. And so you can't make yeah. everything about you, right? right? If Lewis doesn't like one of my videos, I'm not like, why didn't Lewis like one of my videos? Because guess what? It probably has nothing to do with me. Like there was a while, like probably like six weeks that Instagram didn't show me any of Lewis's videos. Yeah. And I texted him I was like, bro, I haven't seen any of your content. And then I went to his page and I was like, it's all here. So it was like, yeah. but he could have been like, if he's like looking through his likes, he could have been like <laughs> butt hurt, you know, about our friendship or something. But yeah. right. I just think that you gotta, you, you have to keep all that in perspective because otherwise your ego is going to take over mm -hmm. and you'll be like, why are my friends commenting? Well, how can people be hating on me? And we're, you know, our disposition is to focus died. on the negative. <laughs> right, 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 did right, you, right. Did you click record on that? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, now we're uh, back, fam. I had to FaceTime my girls, so you know, family break. They they got back from from a church event. So, question: How is it being an influencer with a whole family? Oh man, I got a whole separate podcast about this, but I would say I, there's a 
there's kind of a principle that I have uh, helped me understand it and like uh, be okay with um, everything from like family, musicianship, YouTube and stuff is that life is not about balance. It's about seasons. So the hold idea. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> God. God, let us react to this, <laughs> this stuff. All right. All right, brother preacher. Go ahead. <laughs> well, like for instance, you know, when I, I probably th- from the age sixteen to like twenty, I was practicing like two or three hours a day, right? Like I just fell in love with the drums as a craft. And, you know, into my twenties I was playing a lot, playing every weekend and even, you know, moving to Houston. But, you know, you get married and then you start to have kids. Uh, well, you know, things become out of balance, right? And so if I'm so focused on balance to the place where balance being all things equal. Well, all of a sudden, my life is out of balance. I could be really frustrated, right? So let's say all of a sudden, this amazing thing, this amazing season of my life, having young kids at home, you know, if I am obsessed with balance, then, you know, I would be frustrated at that. That's something that God has brought into my life. Whereas Mm -hmm. I can only see balance through the lens of the season of life I'm in. So right now, I would say that my life is beautifully out of balance, right? Right now, like I'm not practicing, like very rarely, and I could be really frustrated about that, but you know what I am doing? I'm spending a lot of time with my five and three year old daughters. Yeah. That's so, cool. so I have to embrace that. Like coming here, you know, I wish that I could have like spent a lot of time prepping with like some, you know, solo stuff, knowing that I'm going to come here, like just open on a kit, but I didn't like, yeah. I, you know, I, I came from trips and being family and I'm just here. And yeah, that's maybe like, there's some things that suffer in my playing, but you know what? Like I'll take that every day. Yeah. Like, forget all of this. I'm going to go home with my wife and kids. And yeah. so if I understand, and maybe that's not your situation or someone's situation, but I truly think that you have to view life through the season that you're in, and only then can you understand what balance should look like. So for me, like, I try to make it look like I'm really busy on YouTube, but you know what I do? I book one video day a month, mm. and I get an editor, and I come in. So right now I'm shooting like a 16-hour shoot day. And then if I play at church, I'll get more of it right now. I'm doing that, and then I'm, like, practicing, like, two days a month to prep for that shoot day, and then I have a 16-hour shoot day, and that's my month. So that's the secret. People think I'm a full-time YouTuber, but, no, I'm trying to leverage that. So right now, that's the season I'm in, and, like, I could get frustrated at that because it's out of balance. Yeah. But then I'll be missing the thing that God has placed in my life that I feel like is the most important thing. You said something that you didn't let us react to, uh, and I'm going (laughs) to pull it back because it's dope. He said, my life right now is beautifully out of balance. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just let that sit. There's no applause on this, so. (laughs) Beautifully out of balance. Man, that's a great perspective, and I'm about to drop a bomb even more, that I believe only people with faith carry. Uh, Faith in God. I said God, and we lost three viewers. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I love it. I, I love. I, I love when you when you name your faith in Jesus. Let, let's do that because God is ambiguous to certain people. Jesus we're talk, Christ. We're talking about the Son. Um, uh, there are certain things that, and that's. I guess this is a good bomb to go to. Staying true to who you are, regardless of what you think the algorithm wants mm-hmm. you to sure. see, and not just in your talent, but your faith, your belief. Uh, uh, like, like, I've I've been going viral on Instagram without showing any skin. Sure. Without um, don't nobody want to see that anyway. But without um, yeah, you're right. We don't. Mm, right. So let's do something more on my level. Without dogging people's viewpoints, without trolling, trolling. Yeah. yeah. Without pulling somebody down to pull myself up. Right. Um. Well, for my channel, I would say like. I made a commitment early on that I was going to basically stick with Christian music and Christian content and nothing against people that, that don't do that. My right, thing was right. there, there was a group of people that I was trying to reach for that I knew I would lose influence with that if, if I, you know, did something right. else and it's not about other people, but it was for me understanding like the position that I feel like I'm in. And so I, it was and more of a commitment. Audience. I just made a commitment. Like, you know what? Like if you want to blow up on YouTube as a drummer, Pick the top charting song and cover it. And people do that. And I have nothing against that. Like, I'm not being judgmental of people that do that. But just for me personally, I was like, you know what? Like, I think I'm going to stay in just a Christian genre, like, for all my content. You know, and so I've just made that personal. That's, a, you know, as a personal commitment. And, but I feel like it hasn't necessarily hindered me. Maybe it's made something slower. I could probably have a bigger channel if I just covered charting pop songs. Like, it's sure. True. 
Mm-hmm. But yep. but here I am, right? Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. And quick side note too. <clears throat> this is a heart heartfelt message Get to every water. last one. I, I don't have any. So. Just. <clears throat> uh, I, uh, yeah. <clears throat> one more time. Yeah, I did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Both, both. So to to he definitely mentioned that it is. You can easily blow up on YouTube as a drummer if you just do the most popular songs. Just cover those songs and stuff like that. To everybody that's doing that, you've made enough fans. Please find some non-copyrighted music because the majority of them are working nine to fives with millions of subscribers, and they're confused. They try on Patreon. It's not working. All you have to do is... You you got the audience now. Just shift. You played enough popular songs. Move on. Are you saying though they're not? Being, you can't monetize that. No. I mean, yeah. You can, but it's not. It's shared. You know, like you're not. It's not your content. Yeah. Somebody oh, else's. Some of them are getting blocked worldwide. Yeah, you're right. And it, it's and then yeah, even when they share it, like. It, the majority of them, it's the, their copyright claims are coming from, oh, they can still view it, but you're not going to make anything. Yeah, monetized by the copyright owner. Yep. Yeah. And there's, this is tons oh, of... Oh, that happened to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. there's tons of similar styles. That hurt, styles, that hurt, because I played it very nice. Well, I would say my channel gets between three hundred to 500,000 views a month, and my Weird average flags. YouTube... Well, no, my average YouTube revenue, $280. <laughs> yeah, month. mine's like 140 now, which is But it's because it's going to Elevation, Israel, Bethel. Right. The copyright, which, I mean, my thing is I don't really have an issue with that because I, I feel like, you know, the music industry is not supported in a lot of ways. But, yeah, I would agree. You got to either Ooh, create original yeah. content on YouTube or you got to see YouTube as a conversion metric to convert them to your product, right. Right. your Right. Whatever. I've always had a question to ask you. Ask him, bro. I, when I see you too. Go ahead and ask him. When I see y'all like killing those songs, couldn't y'all please like take one of the instruments out so y'all can monetize that? Because like, so, like, what do you mean take one of the instruments off? No, like like stems. Do, yeah. Do y'all oh. have to have it sound exactly like the album? They're professionals. It doesn't ma- yeah, we're professionals. I, I mean, I, I, I would take something out so I can make it. It doesn't matter. Like, I monetize all my covers and I share revenue, but it doesn't matter. That's, that's it, a, it, it's the lyrics. You're doing uh, their song. Okay. It doesn't even matter. So, it doesn't matter the stems. It doesn't matter the, the, the music aspect. It's the actual, like, lyrics. They're mon- like, that song is somebody's, so they're going to monetize it anytime it's played. Yeah, I, I I personally don't know how the algorithm picks that up outside of because I do have some that are non stems that still got yep. flagged. Really? But I mean, I, yeah, but but I would say that like a, ten out of ten times, if you're using master stems, it's gonna get popped when it ups, uploads because the algorithm will catch it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I mean, to me though, I've just I think I've embraced that aspect of it. Like I'm not worried about monetization of that content. I know that I'm gonna gain <coughs> followers, and then I'm working on those conversion metrics, convert them to something. But even on that, like, if you go into YouTube just trying to make money alone, I think you're going to burn out. I think you have to go into there looking to add value to the community that you're in. Right. Because you're focused on adding value, then you don't have to ask people for money. You can offer them value. And if they agree with that, then they'll Right. If you're you're in the YouTube game for money, you're not going to make much. Right. Just being honest. So, yeah, I'm going to reiterate. This is to whatever. Right. Go ahead. Uh, go do your thing. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it back. <laughs> the this message is talk to us, bro. Talk to <laughs> us. <laughs> this message is for those YouTubers that have built an audience, and like you're still doing this copyrighted music stuff when there are there are similar non copyrighted stuff that you can do to like bring those those people to that same style and monetize it because <clears throat> yeah, it, it 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 hurt me i saw a drummer i'm like just views everywhere and it like i'm like you already have the audience just move them like if you would to patreon and stuff sure it's easy to just the, the copyrighted music the free copyright music is everywhere now 
It's yeah. just, and, and it's gotten better. Well, that really, you know, uh, something really struck me. I connected with a YouTuber that has like 40,000 subs. He's full-time, has a full-time editor. Wow. But it's because he does 40, like... 40,000. Yeah, it's not like a huge, That's you know, huge, what you bro. would think. Mm -hmm. But he has a high conversion rate because he offers a lot of value. So he's like photography stuff and he sells like LUTs. Presets oh, okay. and LUTs. Yeah. So it's like right. 10 bucks, but he's just like... Yep. Evidently, because he literally is full-time. I mean, his stuff, his views are not crazy, but he's found a niche of people and he can add value to a community. Yep. And yep. and that's it. That's all he needs to do. So, Question. How... What is the process of finding where you add value? I mean, I think it comes from a little bit of self-awareness on what you're actually good at. Like, first of all, being self-aware about you, where you are, what you can do. And then I think, like, for me, it's a little bit trial and error. Like, you got to find out what what you think you have, you know, have to offer and then what people actually, like, is that true? Like, this is what I think I have to offer. Do they bite on that right. thing? Or is it actually something else they're looking for? Right, right. Which, which, which is, like, the story of my Instagram. Sure. Starting out full music. Mm -hmm. okay. Full. Full music. Uh, and then... I think doing music on my Instagram, no matter how good of a piano player some might think I am. You it, are, bro. You're a killer piano player. I knew he was coming in. Bro, <laughs> this man is a beast, bro. <laughs> bro, oh my gosh. This guy is, he's one of my favorite piano players already. God bless you, brother. God bless you. I'm honored. Hold on, hold on. Let me do the pastor. I'm honored. I'm simply a servant by grace and faith alone through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm just, thankful. I'm just thankful that he chose me. Glory to God. Glory. It's, you got to get the back of the yeah. place. Glory to God. I'm, I'm thankful that he chose me. <laughs> yes, Lord. God is good. You know what's funny? All so the time. One of my friends just said, tell him to preach, and you're already preaching. Dog. <laughs> it's a mighty word burning in me, but but but, we're, 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 we're but you're on assignment right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, we're moving. We're, we're on moving. assignment. We're, we're, moving. Moving. we're moving. We're moving. We're moving at this time. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say <laughs> about, no, 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 no. about your content yeah, yeah, on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, so it started it, keys. It was always keys, and and it was getting better and better. Getting the eye rig, man, spending time, hours like mixing and doing this. Started trying to gospelize. It was like gospelize all show tunes, mm, and then yeah. uh, I did a video. And you like it was semi preaching and with a message behind it with some funny and it just <sighs> took off to the point where you talk about find what bites. I mean, I got people, I, and I only read certain e like DMs. I got people DMing me talking about they were on the verge, le legit. I don't even know if it's real or not, but the verge of suicide. Like, hey, God bless you, brother. We they was on the. Uh, <laughs> This it, is when you told me that, like that no, blew my no, mind. Like, it's it, it's it, right now we're up to f twenty people that were on the verge of on, committing on, suicide. On the verge of committing suicide. But your comedy preaching videos touched them. That's wild. Yeah, I mean he I, is a perfect ho assistant host. That's wild. Like, he's, dog. He, <laughs> he's I got you, dog. That. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got I was, you, dog. I was tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is the thing. It, it, I love him. I don't like them. <laughs> like, 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 I love them, but I don't like them. Uh, but um, no, everybody here, man, and that's I, this is God, God ordained, man. I don't know how much we can keep pushing God in this conversation, right? But um, I would always do it. But you know, the day yeah, type of thing. Yeah. But it's it, it like you know, if not, if I didn't, if not a brand, if we didn't become from guest to VIP, meeting you guys here is definitely great. Right. Like a hundred percent. Right. Uh good people need good people. And uh but yeah, yeah. It was just that's what that's how you know. On the verge of that, that's, that's, giving up. Yeah, I was about to be done. Yeah. I was yep. about to be done. I was telling them I was like, just keep going. That's just the algorithm saying if you're gonna right. be consistent. Yeah. Which is crazy because now like and this is no slam on Josh. Josh is killing it on YouTube. He's killing on Instagram, <laughs> but you got more followers than him on Instagram. He humbled that's me. That's wild. Is what he did. He humbled me. Yeah. No, but that, that's my point. Like that's, yeah, Josh that's, watched that's, my page every day. Every day. Like, every every day. Like, he was it's, it's every happening. day he's pulling it's the happening. screen down. What is this? like? <laughs> it's a, lo a thousand. Like no, no when it when, it, when that, it hit off, it was I was averaging twenty five hundred a day. Yeah. Like, yeah. And now it slowed down. 
it's it slowed down. I but remember. when I was look, one more, one more second. Okay, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but when it was really going, when it was really going, my, my I was friend, looking, I'm sorry, my friend said the reason why, like the people that say that um they've been on the verge of suicide is because your stuff is so deep. Like it comes in as a joke, joking way, but like it's true, man. Like your stuff has like weight to it, you know. I'm gonna say something. Thank you. I'm gonna say something. I really wish regular people would 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 learn hermeneutics. What's that, what's that mean? Like like putting together a sermon and learning the art of preaching. Yep. And they'll understand like there's a message in everything. Yeah. Like everything. Like this microphone. Oh come on! Like, but have you like, ever have you ever thought yeah, like cool. I know like for you like you're doing it as a joke or it's funny or whatever but like there's so many unchurched people that, that's the bittersweet thing. There's so many unchurched if, people that that like that need yeah. to hear a message, but maybe they're not so receptive to hear a, a, a preaching on YouTube like an actual, but they're more receptive to hearing your like comedy stuff. That's like it's getting to them. Have yeah. you ever thought about that? Yeah, that's the bittersweet for me because growing up in church. It's almost like, dang, who y'all listening to? Yeah. Like, there's some real men of God preaching, women of God, real. Not every. There are some people that live what they sing in church. Like, mm -hmm. and then you you do a quick Sally Sold Seashells because that's the favorite one. And everybody, it, it, I'm thankful for it. But that's at the end of the day, it's, it, it shows me the reality of. Wow, people don't listen, or people mm -hmm. that like it's not there's there's a disconnect somewhere. Yeah, disconnect. There's a di like there's a disconnect somewhere. Like <clears throat> I know there's churches out here really trying to be. That's oh that's, I guess, man. I'm thinking this right now, as a, as a as an influencer. Who are we influencing? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. And then uh, put a believer on top of that. Like who are we actually influencing? And are we? What's the what's the goal? What's the end goal of what we're doing? Yeah. What's the purpose of what we're doing? Are we stepping? In, this is an open question for the table. Are we standing in the gap for the generation that really can't reach the ones that will never come in their church? Well, I mean, I definitely think that you know you in a in a medium that people that are uh, would be you know not interested in church or would disassociate themselves from church. They're willing to watch this stuff, right? right? Yeah, and it's then funny. yeah. Yep. So I would say, yeah, it's uh, you know, bringing the gospel in a new way, and um, in a lot of ways, people that have been, you know, hurt by the church or different things too, they watch that and let their guard down. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah. you know, I truly believe, you know, whatever the format, you know, if you proclaim the word of God, I don't think it's going to return void. That's what Bible says. So, wow. like, you know, the truth is, even in a medium that may be, you know, cloaked in humor. Right. right and and presented in a way that's funny and some people may even get frustrated. You think you're not supposed to joke about some things and I mean I agree. Right. You you know not Certain to things, yeah. well, yeah, not to make light so that, of things. That's but, the hard part I have to deal with because yeah. I'd never want my videos to make fun of the church. Yeah, finding the balance of not making that's light the of hard. That's sacred the, things. Right. Yeah, but like right. for me, like some of these Sweetwater guys, like we're here at Sweetwater and there's a lot of unchurched people. Yeah, and they all know your preaching video. Almost all of them. Like, every person we've stopped and we've encountered with and you've talked to, they all know about your preaching stuff. So you probably don't know what it's doing in their lives. You're, it's you're creating. It's definitely a seed. Yeah. I tell you this, uh, Daniel's video rebuked me, like, bad. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> rebuked me bad. What video? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got to say it again. <laughs> rebuked me bad. <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> It had me convicted. Uh, uh, <laughs> one, one. Here it is. Here it is. I only wear suits when I'm <laughs> preaching on days that it's not a youth Sunday. Okay. This is that. That's one rebuke. This man was playing a whole service in drums and a in a suit and a tailor. <laughs> and, and, and he don't even unbutton his jacket, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. on, dude. In a tailored suit. <laughs> tailored. Hold on. Tailored. <laughs> a tailored suit. That's one. Sunday. <laughs> uh, but I watched a video. Um, the, uh, it was a vlog. It was a Sunday morning vlog. And I, I'm grateful that you do this. You you really show a, what it what goes into being a musician at church. Yeah, I'm sure. 
Like if 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 literally. Oh, this is good. What I'm about to say. Uh, if if you nice. literally and and this is a this is a plug for his channel. Minish preachers, pastors, pastors, pastors. If you want to know if you should pay your musicians, watch his video. Mm. This man has a family. Watch his video on everything he does Sunday morning to get to the service. And he's not paid. What? Wow. Well, I mean, he, he's, he's also rich, but uh, <laughs> in Christ, rich in Jesus. <laughs> but but in order to in order to be on the downbeat at seven o'clock, I feel my help coming right now. In order to be on the downbeat at seven o'clock, everything that he goes through and on and gets everything done and ready. Yep. Like 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 those are faithful people that even if he don't want the money, that's not an excuse not to bless him. Sure. Right. Such were some of you. I'm preaching now because <laughs> some of us, and I'm going to leave it alone because I got to go here. Some of us, this is why y'all prayers really don't get answered. Oh, You have no work ethic to show God, I'm not doing this for you to answer my prayer. I'm doing this because you gave me an opportunity to be faithful to the gift that you gave me. Um, mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I feel sure. God. Well, you know, he said... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, he said something earlier about um, Need new buttons. Yeah, <laughs> you're talking about like faithfulness, and and he said something about how there's so many musicians that like this on their 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 church and what they do there, and all they want to do is tour and travel and all, and all that's great. But for me, I feel like the reason I get to do those kind of things is because of my faithfulness at home. Because home is taken care of, because that's my priority, because I don't miss a Sunday to be out. Um, and I feel like so many people these days, like he said earlier, um, their focus isn't being faithful to their church, being faithful in, in small stuff. I mean, like, sure. what is it for you to learn four songs and show up on time and and, 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 and play the service? For, for, for a lot of people, they can't even do that, like the bare minimum – but they want to be playing in stadiums. They want to be playing in these events. They want to be traveling. They want to get flown out, all these things, but they can't be faithful in the little stuff in your own home church. What's so. the scripture? If you're faithful, re re read if your you Bible. faithful over a few, he'll make you ruler over much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> praise and worship leaders going to get upset with you, but go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's true. I think many times we're asking – you know, God to give us more. And he's asking us, what are you doing with what I've already given you? Right. You know, so you have the opportunity and a very practical thing to church musicians, young church musicians. If you don't treat <coughs> your home church well, like you got to realize that nine times out of 10, if you're in your own organization, church world, if someone is looking to put you on something, you know who they're going to call your music director. Right. Like there's a good chance that your pastor, your MD, the people that you're like neglecting, they're the gatekeeper of the, your first opportunity. Right. So don't neglect the gatekeepers in your life of these opportunities that because you gotta and I think it just keeps you grounded, man. I mean, yeah, again, sure. you gotta you gotta stay faithful to what God has given you, you know, and I think that's you know, that's when he trusts you with more. You know, he's basically saying, What are you doing with what I've already given you? You know, right. I'll probably like, be stepping on some toes here, but step up. Unfortunately, people see church as a gig these days. Like, no, how, much, how much am I getting paid? Uh, they see it as a check. It's a check, bro. Not a gig. I'm, exactly. Oh, that's a, true. A gig is a job. That's true. And you you, you hold yourself accountable for your job. And if, if they're not getting you the know. check, they're not going to church. Right. Like, right, right. Those are the ones I give a cash app for the service that was done. And then uh, you are dishonorably discharged. <laughs> go about your business. <laughs> that I believe, yeah, go about your business. Shout out, and this is what we was pointing out, shout out to Sweetwater Sound who joined our live. <laughs> They're we, on. We Let's go. We appreciate you guys. Uh, we're having a blast here, man. Just shout out to you. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's, it, but y'all yeah, want to know the truth. Those are watching and those that are listening, it's, the grass ain't greener on the, the other side. And if it is, you need to jump over this. And cut it. The grass is greener where you water it. Ooh. Ah. Give him glory. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh the podcast is over. That's it. Oh, my God. Oh. oh.
Oh, oh. <laughs> He's in the room. He's in the room, bro. Say, oh my, he never left, but now he has shown up. On, Glory to God. He said the say it again, brother. The grass is greener where you water it. Oh my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> he no, said that so, in the green room. That's, Let's oh, oh that my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's <laughs> stupid. Dog, man. I'm so glad you <laughs> preach. I'm so glad you <laughs> preach. This is amazing, man. That's real. Yeah. It's true, man. That's it. It's true. Man. I mean, and I would say, like, to, to say something really practical with that, like, you know, if you want to be, if you want to do something on YouTube, if you want to do something on some platform, like I, I heard this challenge and it challenged me and I did it for years, create more than you consume because we sit around and consume, consume, consume like, oh, I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. Oh yeah. I can have it. I cannot tell you any people I've talked to that basically say, oh yeah, I, you know, I could do, I think I, I may start a YouTube channel. I can I could do that. It looks really fun. I could do that. You know, it's like, well, no, I, you're a consumer, yeah. you know? So for me, you got to create more than you consume because if you're just stuck on consuming, you will always view other stuff as better. But you got to you got to create more more than you consume. You got to make that a challenge, at least in some point. But yeah, I mean, I, I mean, as funny as a cliche as it is, I mean, I think that's the truth. The grass is green on the other side. No, the grass is green where somebody's watering it. Right. So in your own life, yeah, water where you are and it'll be green. Right. Manage what you have right. and Manage it'll be what, what you, you have, what you yeah. need, you know, so. Manage I mean, you're 24, you know, I mean, but I think that like a lot of that, too, you know, if you want to get if you want to really preach, you Come know, on now. Gideon. Come on. Right. Come on. talk. To so us. Gideon, this is like <laughs> Judges six. Right. If you yes, don't read sir. your Bible, Gideon is a man, uh, Israel, God's people. They're put into you know, captivity kind of. And so the Bible and angel comes to him and says, hey, you're a mighty man of valor. Here's your job. Go do it. And Gideon's like, no, nah, I'm the weakest. I'm the smallest. I can't do it. And the answer God gives is go with the strength you have. Like wow. I've given you the right strength. Right. And so he's like, well, go with the strength you have, you know, and then you look at like somebody else like David. Right. One of our favorite, you know, yeah. stories of the Bible, David and Goliath. If you don't read the Bible, you know, David and Goliath. Right. Yeah. But I may ask you all a question. It's not only a trick question. What killed Goliath? What killed him? What killed him? Uh, I would say a rock. So it's a, there's a debate yeah. because he hit him with the rock, mm -hmm. but then he cut his head off. Yeah. The Bible says that he goes and cuts his head off. But let me ask you this: Where where did he get a sword? Y'all know, remember the story? It, it was Goliath's sword. Yeah, he didn't have a sword. Have a sword yeah. So think about this. So, like, and so this is this is I'm preaching, but you know, so so David David gets in this battle. He has the rock, and, and some people think the the rock killed Goliath. But David took went into the battle, got like was not afraid because he didn't have the right stuff. Yeah. He went with what he had, and then God provided what he needed in the battle. So he took Goliath's sword. So when he needed to finish the job, cut the head off, he didn't go in with a sword, but he got it in, when he was there. So I think like the practical application for me is like, you know what? Like, let's talk about like even gear. It's like, well, when I, when I have this gear, then I'm ready to whatever. It's like, no, you don't need a YouTube. You don't need like all the stuff to start a YouTube channel. Like just do it. Like start it. Like it, if you have a phone, you can start a YouTube channel. Yeah. And you know, when you get in there, I think you're going to find what you need when you get into in the mix of it, you know? And so like, yeah. Like, I was stuck on this, a very simple thing for me. I was like, you know what? I want a camera that is 120. Like, I want a slow-mo camera. Talk and then I was like, you know that. what? Yeah. I was like, my, the camera I have does 60. It's not great. I was like, but I'm not even using it. Like, I'm not even it. trying. Right. Yeah. So gear is not going to make you something you're not. Right. Like, so, but that's like, we feel like that's a big barrier. Like, oh, I don't, I don't have gear. I don't have drums. And I was like, you yeah. know what? Just like, start with what you have and, you know, you'll find what you need, like, as, as you get in there. So. Yeah. I'll never forget. You told me that. Um, about the gear situation. This man was rocking for his YouTube stuff. He was rocking like Canon T three T three I man. Like had no <laughs> autofocus. He had to set up focus, run back and I mean he for the longest, bro. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> for the longest and Josh still has a Canon T. <laughs> but that's T3 my point. I. But okay. Uh, has yep. that hindered yep. him from getting yep. two hundred thousand subscribers on Instagram? I mean, on YouTube. This is this breaking news. Not at all. That's my point. Not at all. That's his point. And it took him years before I would tell him, "Bro, you should get this camp." Bro, he's like, "I'm good with what I have." For years, he rocked the same stuff. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to do it, you will do it. With what you'll you have. find a way. You'll find a way. Exactly. Yep, if yep, you yep. want to do it, 
you'll find a way. Yeah. 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 Now, why do you want to do it? Mm. Well, to answer the question of why are you doing it, I, again, with a Christian worldview, I would say <coughs> four minutes left. Okay, we need to wrap this up. Yeah. I, I would say Duh. part, part <laughs> of it ahead. for me is like, it's you gotta ser- like you gotta be serving and helping people. Yep. So let's like for for a second let's let's uh, take away maybe the, the Christian overlay. Just I would say in general, even if you don't believe in God, like I th- you I would almost universally say that music community is about like fulfillment is found in helping other people. If it's all self serving, you're gonna burn out. But in, from a spiritual sense, obviously I feel like you know we, we're only fulfilled when we're you know serving other people. So for me, like what keeps my channel going is the community that I'm serving, not like because it got some views went crazy. Because what does that do, right? Yeah. When I meet a person that's like, this video helped me. Like I met a guy, one of the uh, one of the Sweetwater guys was like, bro, your video of Lord You Are Good like changed my whole drumming. Because it was, I, whatever, like where he was in his life when he watched it, I was like, bro, thank you. That's what, like, that's what it's for, serving people. So yeah. I think the answer to me is, you got to serve people and help people, and you'll be fulfilled. Have you noticed how amazing it is how people pay attention to detail when the video is for them? Like, like you, they'll pick out something you like. I didn't even notice. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, like that's. I think that's one of the most amazing things uh, that I've been noticing uh, about. Sure. Like, like, the, and then uh, there are another others like it, even in the preaching ones. Well, they'll it, it makes a longer conversation. Like, I'll do the revelation that I knew I wanted to do in the video. And then in the comments, I look, they are preaching to each other. Like, yeah. And then, you, sure. got, you know, you are, you got the one, you know, weird person. But but the, the majority is like, boom, what about this? What about that? And it, it's just pulling a whole conversation, yeah. which is really dope. They said, uh, who is talking? His name is Daniel. Let me, let me go ahead. Let me. <laughs> Daniel Bernard. What's up? Hey everybody, Daniel Bernard. We got like a minute or two, so we should probably wrap this up. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Honestly, um, this appreciate. was fun. I really enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope it's informative and we're just having a conversation. We're just having a good time. Y'all want to say anything? Any last remarks before we close it out? Uh, yeah. Serve God, Hold love on. people. Hold okay, my fault. Okay, go go go. Go, 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 go. We got, we ain't got no time. <laughs> yeah, we're st- right now. everybody standing, please. Listen, 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 listen. Um, may the Lord watch. May the Lord watch. Me, me. Do y'all know that one? No. While we're absent, <laughs> one from a time. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay. Uh, now the God of peace. That brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yep. Y'all don't know that one? Okay, hold on. We're almost, hold on. We're almost out of memory. <laughs> All right, listen. listen. <laughs> we're almost out of memory. Get moving, dog. <laughs> well, listen, listen. You can follow all of us. It'll be in the link. Link's down in the description, description below. <laughs> hey, go ahead and wait for us in the car, please. Stay blessed. <laughs> Stay See blessed. y'all.